It is auction day. I'm at the big auction. Lots of stuff here, lots of people. I'm not sure what I'm going to end up buying, but we shall see. You never know what you're going to find, especially at this auction. See what paper goes for today. Sometimes it goes cheap, sometimes it goes for. Oh, that's cute. More than I would pay. Oh, Peter Pan. I think I have that book already. Oh, that's cute. Oh, it's Donald Duck. What's he doing there? I think the last time I got paper for pretty at a good price, so we'll just have to see. shower those don't sell as well for me this is really fun it's not old but it's just made to look old Bobby's world. that was a great cartoon Bobby's world Atari, I remember you. Pitfall. What games did I play? Pac-Man. That joystick. <gasps> oh my gosh. This is the best game ever. You get the Reese's Pieces. I love that game. Frogger. I played that a lot. Burger Time was another good one. But man, that um, haunted house. That E.T. game was amazing. Ooh, this is Pac-Man. Can't be Atari. I would like to play Atari again. The Smurf game was especially hard. I can never get it to jump over a rock right in the beginning. Ooh, that's a heavy flower frog. ET game, amazing. Packing list for Murray and Philly. It's all glued together. Like Beanie Beanies. And books. There's a lot of records here today, too. I see Jesus again. More dolls. There's a set. The bottom of it. Oh, there's a cuckoo clock. She's older. She's my. Oh, I forget. Like, oh, Miss Piggy. Like my buddy. Ooh. 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 Here. Those are the 
Oh, 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 we have one. This has a different kind of base. And they're glued. The reason why I don't, I mean, they're glued, it's fine. But the reason why I don't like it is what if you can't get the glue out and you don't have any that can fill in? Or what if, um, you know, you want to unglue them and the product you use damages it? That's why I don't like it. That's a cute guy. Dinner napkins? I don't think these are dinner napkins. Oh, oh! Way too many ornaments. Yes, this looks like it could be a good box. Some kids toys. Oh, oh, a troll. Oh, I like this box. This is like one of the last boxes, though. Mickey. I'm gonna have to start making it a list, I think. light bulbs. Tinsel. For humor and art, Kunst as art, Farbig Illustrierte Vulkanschrift. How nice. And some Barbies, Ken, in case he forgets his name. Oh my gosh, I had this when I was little. They have the belly buttons. See? I had a boy and a girl, and then I had another baby. Probably still have them at my mom's house. Oh, she's had a rough day. Oh, cool. Oh my gosh, it's a radio. That's so fun. Oh, look at that. Happy coin sweeper. Oh my gosh, it's Santa. That must be his job he does when uh, Christmas is over. These are fun. Oh, sound like they started in the other section. Radio Shack. There's a lot of older toys. These have been out in the rain, unfortunately. Well, the um, moisture from the morning. Oh, they're cute. Oh, that's adorable. Look at this. These lights. Those are fun. Oh, they're getting started. Mm -hmm. 
World's Fair. You usually always see something from the World's Fair. Wheeling to Reading. Oh, that's cool. Too bad it's all the way out here. Oh, that's cute too. That's a nice box. I'm surprised they have that out here. Oh, quills. Sometimes those can do rather well as well. So one five eight has been doing fairly well. Well, I guess <laughs> I got the box of the vintage little uh, jack o' lanterns. Um, some have damage. Some of the paint is lost, but I mean, a whole box of them you can't go wrong. I did get some paper. I probably overpaid on that, but there's another person here that's buying paper. I got this box of the feed cloths for four dollars um, a lot of them are just plain but i think they will go with my future projects oh there's this one is this a blanket yeah, i think it is or a huge cloth snow white pure oh there's sugar bags Wow. Um, this will go with my future plans that I have. We'll see if they ever come to fruition. Oh, I like that one. Grown in Virginia. I'm sure if the graphics would have been brighter, they probably would have went for more money. I know people used to make like towels and everything with these, but that's oh, from Philly. We shall see. And then I also got a box of Christmas. Mostly just balls, so we'll look at that later. Hey, come here, Franco. Two bucks. Two, three, two, go to me. Two, nine, three, four, 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 six, six, eight, 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 ten, ten, twelve, twelve, fifteen. Out of the fifteen, seventeen, twenty, out of twenty, twenty-five, five, thirty, out of thirty-five, forty dollars, forty-five, fifty dollars, fifty, 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 forty-five, fifty dollars. So forty-five, three, ninety-three. That guy's got insulators. You got a whole bunch of hardware, finishing nails. There you go, hardware. Hold back a lot. Well, I didn't get the larger ceramic Christmas tree, the like chunky one. I didn't get this little guy. Um, I don't believe he has his base, but this box was $5. So I think because he was kind of mixed in there and this bag was on top, people didn't really see him. He's fun. Then we have some other Christmas. These things were made in Czechoslovakia. And then you have these older guys some more trees so for five dollars this was a really good box can't be a vintage ceramic tree for five dollars now in front behind i don't know if they just forgot to put things back where they should have been but there you go guy you know it's one thing as i say i hide things i mean it's not really hiding it in the box that it came from it's just you know, moving it around versus taking something out and putting it in a completely different box or a completely different space. Um, hmm, what's this guy? Lineal Germany. He's rather neat. Um, so I'll have to go through this box. And then I got some Christmas. This I thought was cute. And then also the jack-o'-lanterns, which were a fun find, and then also some paper. So, not too bad, I think. So yes, another auction on the books, another long auction day. I came back with two boxes of Christmas, including the one that had the vintage ceramic Christmas tree. No base though, but that's all right for $5. A box of paper, probably overpaid on that. Two boxes of dolls, probably overpaid on the one box. And, the box of jack o lanterns if I did not say that again <laughs> it's been a long day but it was a fun day um, maybe I should have been on a couple more of the boxes of dolls you know they were jam-packed some dolls do better than others just because a doll is old doesn't mean it's going to bring in X amount of money and you can basically apply that to everything 
you know, in the world of, say, ephemera, just because a piece of paper is old doesn't mean that you're going to be a gajillionaire. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> That's for sure. Um, so yeah, boxes of dolls were a mishmash. Some of those boxes went for a lot of money. Uh, a lot of money to me would probably be like $30, $40. Um, so I had to pass. And others went for two bucks. And those are the boxes I wish I would have bought. But hey, you whatever you end up with, I think that's what you are meant to have. So I'm meant to have this girl and all her other little friends that are in here, which I'm going to have to take a look at. Um, some will probably be, probably be available on Etsy um, at some point, so watch for that. But it was a fun auction. I enjoyed this auction. I had my iced coffee, and the reason why it tastes a lot like chocolate is because they like mix the iced coffee with chocolate milk. Genius. They had peach pie there, which looked really, really good. I did not eat that. Um, I had enough calories in that. <laughs> <laughs> that iced coffee, so I had to pass on the peach pie. But maybe during the fall, they're probably going to have pumpkin stuff. <sighs> Go to an auction just for the food. That's what I do. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, more auctions to come. Hopefully, um, more other, more other, other adventures. As always, what is in the books? I don't know. Maybe some rummage sales, fall rummage sales. That'd be nice. Yard sales in my area are winding down. Um, hopefully then estate sales will ramp up. It's been a while since I've been to a real good digger sale, so fingers crossed for that. And otherwise, we're just gonna keep pushing along, get to the fall, enjoy some pumpkin themed things, perhaps some good rummage sales, estate sales, a few more auctions. You never know what will happen. Still waiting for that clean out though. Still waiting on that. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. And I will see you all next time for the next adventure here at Paper and Moves.